So I've been on my self-improvement for 10 years. And with that being said, each and every year, I have learned something new in terms of overall, making sure that you develop yourself into the highest version of yourself. So that's why in today's video, I wanna go over the 10 laws of self-improvement. And these are the same laws that I follow to a T each and every day to once again, make myself marginally better every day so that over a long-term horizon, we overall become the best versions of ourselves. all right? So subscribe, like, let's go ahead and get right into it. So law number one is that you wanna focus on what you can control. I know I made videos talking about your height or maybe your facial aesthetics and some of these things we necessarily can control. And if you fall down the trap of thinking and obsessing about the things that you can't control, instead of focusing on the things that you can control, you're overall going to just create limiting beliefs around your whole entire identity. So with that being said, the things we can control, number one is going to be our fitness. Get in the gym, become the best version of yourself from an aesthetic standpoint. I believe every man should be anywhere between 10 and 13% body fat if you overall want to look your best. Alongside with our image, we got our fashion, right? Our fashion, how we present ourselves to the world. These are things that we can effectively control and make better so that we overall just come off more attractive to whoever we're trying to engage with. If you fall into the trap of just focusing on the things that maybe you're stuck with genetically or can't control, I promise you that's just going to lead you down a road of complete failure. So focus on the things you can control. Let's move on to law number two. So with law number two, this is controlling your vices and pretty much quitting all addictions and vices. I made a video recently talking about how I quit weed after using it for around three and a half years. And little did I know I was overall creating self-sabotage, which is hindering me from my own success. If you want to be the highest version of yourself, you absolutely have to, with all your power and will, control your addictions because that's going to have a direct correlation to your dopamine levels. Your dopamine levels pretty much control everything about your motivation and your drive. If you have low dopamine, you're not going to have the will power or drive to want to actually complete and accomplish your goals and you deplete your dopamine by having these addictions and vices. Even social media, you know, scrolling TikTok for hours, drinking alcohol multiple times a week, smoking the ganj before bed because you think it relaxes you or helps you fall asleep better, right? You don't realize that you're hindering your own success overall. And you will never elevate to the highest version of yourself if you don't cut out these vices. All right, so the reason why you always give up on stuff is because you never do it long-term and you never think about doing it long-term. That's why law number three is that you need to effectively always have that long-term mindset. This goes with everything in your life. Me personally, I have a rule. If I can't do it long-term, the most times it's not worth doing. Think about it, even with steroids, right? You guys have probably thought about getting on the juice, trying to build more muscle, but from a long-term aspect, you cannot sustain that. So is it worth doing? Probably not. Everything I do, even the things I invest in, I invest long-term. I don't think about short-term trading or doing things that's gonna provide like a quick hit of dopamine because overall it's not worth it. So if you have a challenge for yourself, let's say you're trying to get more dates, start a social media channel, improve your fitness, wherever it may be, you have to expand your time horizon to at least minimum six months. If you can't do it for six months, then overall it's just not worth doing. But actually I feel like you need to stick to something for minimum a year to two years if you really wanna see the effects of compounding success. This is how everybody's successful. They get a little bit better, and then over time, it just simply compounds. Whenever I first started social media, nobody was watching my videos. When I was first getting in the gym, I couldn't do a handstand. I couldn't do any of these cool tricks I'm able to do now. I didn't have a six pack. I wasn't ripped. But over time, it compounded, compounded, and that's how I got to the point where I'm at today, by having that long-term mindset. Law number four is that your daily habits need to align with the person who you want to become. Our habits pretty much create everything in our lives, guys. From your morning routine, to your night routine, to literally every routine you ever had if you look at your habits and that's not in line with the person you want to be or the ideal future you see for yourself then once again we're leading down a road of self-sabotage now in terms of habits of course we also have a workout routine but i know a lot of you guys want to make yourselves more attractive too and your habits also fall in line with that from drinking enough water per day to going to the gym consistently even to taking care of your skin and you guys already know if you don't have a skincare routine that's one habit you need to consistently do from a base layer of appearance in order to make yourself the most attractive version of yourself. And that's why the sponsor of today's video is Teach Hanley. Me personally, I've been rocking with Teach Hanley since 2018. This has been probably one of the most consistent things I've ever stuck to and done alongside with my fitness routine. And the reason why I stay so consistent with it is because it simply works. It's easy to use, it's easy to do. You don't have to go down a deep rabbit hole of trying to figure out what to use or if this is a good product. 
See, channeling makes that simple and easy for all of us men. Now they have different levels. Me personally, I like the level three system, but you can start off with the level two. It's gonna come with your basic face wash where you're gonna use this multiple times a day, morning and night. Also your moisturizers, the AM and PM moisturizer. AM has SPF in it, which is gonna help protect your skin from the sun because UV rays does cause photo aging and just overall skin damage over time. And also the exfoliating scrub, which is gonna help make your skin brighter by removing those dead skin cells. Now, one thing I like about Teach 2 is that if you forget what to do, it actually comes with this nice card that will tell you exactly what you need to do every morning and night. And because Teach is sponsoring this video, you guys are gonna get 40% off your first box alongside with the free gift. And plus, once you become a member, you're gonna start getting 20% off for life. Now, in terms of your free gift, I highly recommend you check out this silicone body scrubber. If you're using a loofah, or if you're using your hands even worse, then you're definitely gonna to want to add this into your body cleansing routine. So once again, check out T. Chanley. I'm gonna leave a link down below. So the fifth law of self-improvement is that you always have to be a student. Guys, you gotta realize, there's always gonna be somebody who's smarter than you, and you always need to take that advice and knowledge and learn from them. Even me, myself, I know there's people who are a lot smarter than me in all the subjects that I think I'm smart at. That's why me personally, I decide to every morning, devise myself in knowledge by reading something that's going to help my skill set or the things that I want to become better at. Knowledge is power, guys. Now with knowledge too, of course, you should be a student, but also realize that you're mostly going to learn through your own experiences. So that's why you should also take action when you're a student. So that way you get the benefits of both learning from other people. This could be books, mentors, coaches, or even learning from your own experiences. Then from there, that's how you create that knowledge sort of bundle by combining those two things. Always be a student, never stop learning. All right, guys, we're more than halfway through. Let's get to law number six. This is you need to curate your environment. I promise you, what you see on social media, the friends you hang around with, even the girls you decide to associate with is gonna curate your reality and make you into a person either you wanna become or don't wanna become. First, we gotta start off with your environment. This is otherwise known as life setup. You need to move to a city where it either motivates you inspires you or at least live in an area in your city to where you can overall fulfill whatever dream or passion or purpose that you personally want to accomplish. Me personally, I grew up in small towns most of my whole entire life. And I always felt like I was held back within these environments and I couldn't necessarily elevate to be the highest version of myself. It wasn't until in 2019 when I moved to a bigger city, I sparked a sense of creativity and overall more passion and drive because of the new environment that I was in. And also your friends. You guys don't realize a lot of your friends are probably holding you back. A lot of your friends just overall do not have your best interests in mind. They see you elevating, but they wanna keep you at that level they're at. And that's why as you elevate as a person, you might have to reconstruct your friend group. You might have to leave those old friends behind who don't wanna elevate with you. And that's why a lot of successful people, a lot of people who start making more money, actually start to reform their friend group with people of similar interests and have similar mindsets as them, all right? So don't allow your environment to hold you back. Actually curate it. And lastly, that includes your social media. If you guys are still following IG models, bro, I done said a million times. <laughs> Why are you following a woman who is never gonna see you in her life or doesn't even know you exist? Why are you not following people who motivate you, inspire you, make you want to do better in life in any area? It could be your fitness, could be your health, could be your relationships, whatever it may be. Follow those people and stay off the explore page on Instagram. Do not go on the explore page because that's how you're gonna fall into the trap of finding these, these women or people that are not gonna motivate you or inspire you because Instagram's job is to literally keep you on the platform and they know your horny ass is gonna want to just view women in bikinis, right? So stay off the explore page, create your total environment and watch you elevate as a person. Law number seven is that you need to get out of your comfort zone. Ask yourself, when's the last time you did something truly difficult? It could be physically, it could be mentally, ideally a combination of both. But if you're looking back on your life the past year and you've stayed in the same place, that shows a lack of growth. Think about the gym, right? The reason why we train so hard and we preach progressive overload is because that's what's gonna allow that adaptation to a stronger muscle. But you guys don't realize it happens with your mind too. You know, doing mentally difficult things, getting outside of your comfort circle zone, whatever you wanna call it, is gonna overall elevate your growth. I started sparring recently and I sparred a few times, right? Doing that for me was way out of my comfort zone. I've never been punched in the face in my life, but once I actually got punched in the face, it's once I felt that anxiety of going into the ring and challenging myself, I felt the confidence translate to other areas of my life because I know if I could do that, then this is gonna be even easier, right? And it all starts with purposely forcing yourself outside of your comfort zone. Before we move on to law number eight, if you're still watching this video, that is a sign that you have what it takes to actually stay consistent and disciplined through something, even when it comes to watching a video like this, right? And that's why law number eight is just literally staying 
staying consistent is sticking through those hard times. Listen, everybody has their difficult times. There's gonna be good months, there's gonna be bad months, but it's the ones who stick with it who comes out on top at the end. I've never saw results doing anything initially for a short period of time. This is once again, I have that long-term mindset, right? I've always had to stay consistent in whatever I'm doing in order to see actual progress. But because I stay consistent, because I was delaying my gratification towards the things and goals I wanted to achieve, and I just overall stuck with the plan, that's how I saw those results, right? So it first starts with having a goal. Then from there, having the routines that fall in line with that goal and those habits like we talked about. And then overall, you take an action over a long course of time and stick into the plan in order to see those results. So with law number nine, we gotta attract, don't chase. I've spoken about this a handful of times, mainly in the context of women, but that goes for pretty much everything, guys. I'm a big believer in manifestation, and all that really means is making yourself into the person who you want to become, and then attracting whatever that person deserves into your life. So this goes back into my basic points. Make yourself into the most attractive version of yourself, and then allow what's gonna come to you to come to you. Have that attraction mindset, manifestation, whatever you wanna personally call it. The universe will give you what you overall deserve. And law number 10, this is the last one guys, is that you need to solve your own problems and then share those solutions with the world. This is pretty much how everybody is successful, especially people you see on social media. What they did was identify problems in their own life, fix those problems either through trial and error or hiring people to help fix those problems for them and help construct and go through that journey with them. Then from there, they share that information either through a wide medium such as social media or even the people within your social group, right? You don't have to get on social media and make videos, though that will be the best way, but you can do it just with your friends. You know, the friends who I talked about before who aren't elevating with you try and help them up or even your family or people anybody who's close to you you want to overall share your message with them so that you can just spread the positivity and spread the goodwill because since you made the person you want to become you need to just spread that goodwill across all others all right so those were the 10 laws of self-improvement guys follow them to a t and you're going to see absolutely crazy results in every area in your life don't forget to check out t shanley if you want an easy to follow skincare routine remember you're going to get 40 percent off your first box i'm gonna leave a link down below and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video peace